Hey there, everybody. Welcome back to our All Achievement Run of Auction Not Included. As always, for the sake of engagement on these videos, liking or commenting on the video always helps out. If you don't feel like commenting too much, hey, maybe even an emoji will help. If you uh, put something like an asteroid or something, I don't know, something space related, because that's what we're doing. Uh, so let's go ahead and do a roundup of what we've been working on. We've been working on getting this spawn... The, well, it's not really a spawn in all honesty. It's more of just like a haphazard throw together thing. And a lot of you were commenting on the efficiency of this. And you're right. This thing is terribly inefficient. And it's really just to get us some power going at the moment. It's not really for oxygen generation, although oxygen generation is going to be a bonus. We're going to, have to pump some of the oxygen out here. And maybe what I'll need to do is probably lift these up a little bit just so there's a buffer for our oxygen to fall through. Um, but I think what we're going to do is build our regular spawn maybe up in this area or cool it down. Or if we can find something cooler around here, then maybe do that. Um, but it doesn't look like we have anything uh, of a cold biome other than, than what's up here. There might be something down in here. It looks like there's some something chilly down here, but we have a ceiling robot of some sort. Um, but it looks like we're going to have to focus on getting our cool uh, cool down for our auction generation over on this side. So we may like hollow it out and maybe use some of that. Or maybe even use some of this wheeze wart, replant it, and then send our oxygen through there. Or we can just straight up have our, you know... Uh, maybe have our spawn generation in here and then, you know, have our gas pipes that pump the air through out the base this way. Like I said, I want to try to keep this as natural and form fitting as possible. Granted, it doesn't look like that now, but I want to keep at least I want to I want to have some semblance of non symmetric uh, non symmetry in here um, besides, you know, our standard block here. I know it's kind of, you know, obviously this is, you know, standard kind of layout. You know, you have your kind of cubes, cube or, you know, rectangle size rooms. Uh, but I do want to try to keep the asteroid intact as a, if I can. But if not, that's OK, too. Uh, we also for the all achievement, we're trying to focus on carnivore. We are in cycle 20 and we have some hatches not doing the best we could be. Um, but we are trying to get some of this refined metal in here. And honestly, I need the hat of amount of nine. Refined metal is kind of our important to go uh, need right now. And let's take a look at our rooms if we can help with that. We need to make sure we have this in a room as well. So we want to have a power plant, which we need a power control station in order to get that. Or we just get some lights under there and help increase the efficiency of that too. Um, but if we can get a power control station, that would help get our um bonus up to that we also need to get some more batteries on here so we have more power because power is honestly some of our worst um the worst issue that we're coming across there is no i believe room that will help get this thing going but we could probably put a light in and get some efficiency going there honestly i might move it up here we're near our hatcheries uh, since it's already hot up here i don't know why i didn't put it up here before uh it's kind of a kind of a odd spot that i decided to put this thing in um uh, but because we need to get these incubators going, I'm going to have incubators up here. Actually, probably put them up here and then have our ranches here. Probably have one right here. Um, we may have an exit out of it if we need to. Um, but we just want to keep oh, the hatches aren't too adverse to heat, so we don't have to worry about that. But we do have to worry about this abyss light here. I could go ahead and dig some of it out, but I don't think we have the skill for it at the moment. But we're going to let things play. We're going to play um, at one speed. Uh, we are trying to get some of this uh, anti-heat on here so that we're not you know getting uh absolutely torn up the heat and we're honestly not that far i've, I've kind of made like it seem like it's a big issue and it's not uh this one could be an issue down the line but we are going to tame this one at some point i'm, I'm going to work on stifling it first um and then we also have a um a geyser here i don't know what it is but there is one here so we might have something cold there too uh so we can use this cool salt uh, uh blah, 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 this cool salt slush geyser to cool off some of our gas too so what is that is that like one like tiny piece of heat oh the, well, okay there's another geyser here so we got several actually different geysers here and this actually may tell me this may be a hot geyser of some sort so we may need, may need to be careful on right uh unveiling that I mean, we have to stifle it but yeah we have one two three geysers right there we may have another one down here possibly um yeah so let's take a look so we have that one there we have another one here so yeah we have plenty of geysers to go around it looks like we just have to unveil them and see what we have but let's go ahead and get our dupes going um i do want to make sure that we get a incubator going so let's go ahead and get these incubators in and i'm going to try to set these up as efficient as possible um and you'd be wondering how hey how are you going to do that well i'm going to have our ranchers come up here and i'm going to set these on timers and each time one hits a the, uh, timer then it'll turn on and then once it turns on, uh, the other one will turn off, so on and so forth. So I'll probably put those on a timer. I I can't remember exactly the timer I'm going to put them on, um, but we'll get that going as soon as we can. So let's go ahead and get a little bit of power hooked up, wire. I'm going to throw this guy up here. 
And I know that we have this. <sighs> well, once again, I'm not sure how the system's gonna go. I'm gonna play with it. We're gonna build it out because their oxygen, the hydrogen is ideally gonna go up here and our oxygen is gonna be down here. We're gonna try to make this big pit where all this hydrogen is gonna go and we'll pump it down into our generators here. And I need to have a overflow. Um, I think these two should be fine with the ceiling collapse. Where we got ceiling collapse? Okay, Kevin is stuck. Excellent. Kevin, that's 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 a so you thing, bud. Uh, so Kevin's going to dig himself out there out of trouble. Uh, hopefully he can get down. I think he should be able to. But in case of emergency, we are going to build a ladder up in here and over just kind of like that for right now, just so they have a diggable area. So they're going to get itchy eyes, which is fine. Let's go ahead and build this ladder this way so they can access that. They should be able to access all of this once we have the ladders built. Um, but this way, the hydrogen gets up here. We have some oxygen that's going to push down, which we then can pump that out. This is going to get hot, and we ideally don't want hot oxygen to go in here. And I also got to remember, hey, these things, we have to be careful with We need to build them out of gold amalgam at some point. So if they get too hot, they're going to break, and that's also going to be bad. Uh, we do have these pinch of pepper plants. Uh, we're going to want to use them at some point, but like I said, it's not a priority at the moment. I'm going to get this, this built out. Um, main priority is getting these eggs incubated, so we're having them for the carnivore achievement. So let's go and get a nine on all of that so that our people are building them. We are doing okay with our hatches. Uh, it's cramped, so we need to move uh, some of these. I think we're going to move... Let's go ahead and move a hatch into here. We're going to say move this hatch here, move this hatch here. Let's just go ahead and get some hatches in this one and then let's get all of our eggs if we can can i no okay so move all of our eggs up here i need to be careful because we have some sweep jobs that need to be handled and we don't want our guys sweeping up and moving all this out of our way so let's go ahead and get those swept up okay very good so they're wrangling our hatches let's go ahead and get our eggs moved so move there as well so we have a stack of uh hatch eggs which is good. I'm glad we have a stack of hatch eggs. We just need to get them incubated as soon as possible. I don't know why I keep moving them like that. I uh, have a lot of sweep jobs over here that we can do. And you guys also mentioned that, hey, you need to have plenty of dupes so that you can actually eat all this food when you get to it. And you're right. I definitely do. Um, I'm going to set up actually where I can dig this out and pump all this water. That should be good. We can put a pump there and pump it out. Or actually, we can get a bottle emptier and do that instead. So I think I'll do that and then have like a bottle emptier there maybe oh, we can dig all this out and have that little pocket because we need to worry about our these guys can't come down here and do a lot of work so we need to get the water sieve and get that going which i don't think we have that yet no let's take a look at our research real quick and see what's going on and it's been a couple days since i played so i'm kind of trying to catch myself up i think i haven't played since saturday i know this video released monday but Try to do my recording on Saturday if I can. Let's see, water sieve. I think that's in. Yeah, we're working on it now, so it's good. So Danzy's gonna work us on. Then we're gonna go for automation so we can get these going. All right, so we have an incubator going. Let's go ahead and get this. And let's see, continuous. So we want continuous uh, hashling eggs. And then once again, I'll get a sensor to set up a timer and we'll kind of time those. And I, I don't wanna have to do the thing where I have to cut and yeah, I, I'm gonna try to automate that as much as possible. So we have our hatches here. Uh, we have that egg moving. We have that egg moving, which is good. Uh, yeah, looking good so far. You guys mentioned that, hey, you know, you're on your way pretty well, which I'm glad to hear. Now, we don't have any idle dupes, which is good. Colony achievement earned. We have a new achievement to pay the bills, uh, which I... Okay, no, I guess we don't have a new achievement. Got to drop a new achievement when we have a, an achievement run going on. Uh, we do have some dupe skills. So let's take a look at that. Our dupes morale is pretty decent. Uh, we have to make sure that they're going through uh, the ranch, uh, not the, the ranch, the uh, nature reserve that we have set up for them. I am going to get tidying, I think. Tidying is just super helpful, but also supplying. Uh, carrying capacity is, yeah, we want carrying capacity. So let's get carrying capacity for hitch. That's going to help us sweep up much faster. All right, so I do want to check out our decor. Okay, so we're looking not great, but we're going to get that fixed up as soon as we can. We really need to get a lot of this stuff swept up. Um, yeah, but working on getting a quicker way for you guys to get around. Dirk Souls is now hopefully putting a... Nope, he's just delivering copper ore and stuff like that. So I do want to make sure that their priorities are ranching. They need to be doing that as often and as soon as they can. So to you and... Um, 
Danzy or no, that's researching. I can't read. Reading is hard. OK, yeah, you guys are ranching, which is good. Hitch is going to be our supplying and storing guy. Uh, we need operators, so let's make sure we are operating, operating is good. Hostile buffalo and Hitch will operate when they can, and then Hitch will do that. So they're operating. We desperately need to get a better setup for this. So I think what I'm going to do, and they got off because they're hungry. We need to get a I think I'm going to put some power stuff up here and then we can go from there. So let's go ahead and move this. Um, we could probably get some sort of room going for it, but let's get two jumbo batteries. I'm just going to set this up where as close as possible. They need to get there relatively quickly. So I have two jumbo batteries and then two wheels. And I think of it. We're going to get smart batteries eventually, but we don't have them. So we're just going to do what we can right now. And then two wheels. We can't use a wood burner. None of that. Got to remember to do that or nope, not don't want a third one. Let's get a let's just do this and copy. Uh, copy that. And let's I'm gonna get some space between there. And then that's going to be where our power is going to run from. Now we have two batteries to fill up and then we get a light up here to help with the efficiency. So let's get that here and let's put our main spine. Then build that out that way. It's kind of a weird way to I'm, I'm just now going to deconstruct this, but I want to kind of build this off our spine here and you know, make sure I do a better job of having a proper power spine going through there. All right, so they're building out the power. We're going to have those new wheels and then we'll de deconstruct this and kind of repurpose this area for something else, because a lot of our heat's going to be up here. If you take a look, we're going to have heat. We already have a ton of heat spilling through here, and that's OK. We've got our insulation built now, so that's not going to be as bad. Uh, some of this oxygen passed through here, but that's OK. You can see here we have hydrogen and we have oxygen pushed down and I'll probably have like a pump here for oxygen just to be pumped out. Um, like I said, this is going to be imperfect. There's going to probably be some hydrogen that gets through uh, if it does. Then we'll maybe we we'll put a gas filter if we really need to. The gas filter only runs, I think, when it has something that it needs to filter out. I could be wrong in that. Also, this ha we also need to move this guy. Hang on. Uh, can we move you into here? That would be great if we can have that that guy there because we want some shine nymphs going around there and they can't go through ladders and stuff like that. So that is something to consider. OK, cool. Let's go ahead and speed this up and let our guys do what they need to do. Uh, our hatches are in good condition. I think we have eggs it has no power, but they can still do this, which I'm kind of wondering why Dirk Souls hasn't. Can I? Can we cancel your order and? But ideally, this should be priority number. Oh, wait, no, no, it's not. OK, hang on. Change it to priority number nine. I don't know. Where, OK, Dirk Souls is wrangling that. That's good. Um, it has no power, but it sh they should be able to put it in there even without no power. And I don't have my automation yet. We do have a critter sensor and a water sensor, but that's not what we're looking for. Danzy is doing her best here. And we have the research room, so, you know, she's getting as much of a boost as she can. Let's take a look. OK, yeah, so they're doing the water sieve. Probably want automation next. Um, we want a timer. And so we're going to have to work for generic sensors. So I'm going to have to probably manage this a little bit on my own, but I at least want to go ahead and get the eggs in here if we can. Which I'm kind of wondering why you guys aren't handling the eggs. Also, Dirk Souls is shining. Why are you shining? Oh, it's because you have you have. the Yeah, OK. So I was wondering why I didn't know what happened to Dirk Souls, but he's, he's fine. He's OK. Um, I think what we're going to do is to save some time, too. Is we're going to put a pneumatic door here and we're actually going to close this room off. That's what I didn't want right there. And then we can dig some of this out. We should have enough space here for this to technically be our room still, is it? Yes. So I'm going to go ahead and say, hey, we're going to take those two out and that should be enough. OK, you guys are sweeping, but we're not putting the egg up. But what's priorities looking like? That's a nine. It should be working. OK, you guys are charging the battery, which is good. Uh, what do we have this set to? 30%? I think Hitch and Hostel are just going to be running until that is. Hmm. And I want we want this. Actually, wait, did you already finish all that? Oh, you did. Perfect. We need more incubators down, which is what we need. Uh, we need some more. So let's go ahead and set up for four more incubators. So we need, I think. Eight of these. So I think that's the math uh, we have. 50 kg, each one's 200. So if we have eight, I think that should be good. So they'll do that, Aaron. Then we'll have another 
uh, pod sit here. So we're just we desperately need to get these guys in here. So I'm trying. Why is it because? Oh, because they're not powered. Ah, yeah, that'll do it. Well, no, they should be able to put these in here without the power. What if I clip it? I don't I really don't want to unclip it if I don't have to. It has no power, but they should be delivering the egg here. It is built. I know it is. I see it there. Okay, they're done with power, which is good. Um, our oxygen, these are honestly taking up some power utilization. Um, we can see our potential load is over our wattage limit, but that's okay. What I do want to try to get is try to get the uh, conductive wire, or I believe it's the conductive wire. The better looking wire for our decor bonus as well, because uh, that'll help generously. Uh, we don't want to make sure we move anything in that tile there. So let's go ahead and set sweep jobs for there and there. Okay, looking good. I just have a lot of jobs for you guys, and hopefully we'll get a new dupe to help out with some of that. Uh, you can see our calories are okay. Evan is cooking, which is good. What is Evan cooking? He's cooking some mush fry, which is fine by me. Uh, we do need to be storing this in here if possible, which we are. Okay, we have it set to store, but no one's storing anything, which is not great. Um, I think if I set that to a eight, they'll store things, maybe. I hope. We'll see. Because Hitch is, Hitch is busy doing his other things as well. Uh, he's providing that to us. Do we have enough now for another one? No, we don't. I want to say build that as a nine priority. We need that done as soon as we can. I don't know why you guys aren't getting these eggs. Is it because they have move on them? I would like these to be swept up if possible. Okay, so we have that done. Let's go ahead and do a sweep job. Go ahead and cancel all that. Okay, so we're moving along. It looks like we... Daisy also has her research done, which is perfect. So let's go ahead and get a new research. Let's go ahead and go all the way to generic sensors. I want to get those timers so we can automate this slightly. Because we don't want these things using power when they shouldn't be. Okay, where is my ranchers at? Where's Dark Souls? What is he doing? He is running. You should not be doing any operating. You should be focusing on Dirk Souls, Dirk Souls, Dirk Souls. No operating. At least lower. I want you to move these hatch eggs. Maybe if I cancel the move, maybe they'll put them in the uh, incubators. Maybe. Where's Dirk Souls? What is he doing? Hmm. Okay, let's go ahead and build a water sieve down here, too. We need to go ahead and get this done. Uh, our carbon dioxide is really bad, and we don't have oxyferns, so let's go ahead and get this system set up. We're going to have to pump a little bit of water into it, but once we set this up, it'll be uh, doing well. So plumbing, we want liquid pipes, and we want to set this up correctly, so this is our exit. So I think actually maybe better to do it on this side. So actually, no, this will be fine. Do that, and we can do that. Perfect. All right, so this is outputting here, going into here. And then we'll want to input some water there, which, hey, luckily we have some water right there. So we're going to go ahead and set up a little bit of a pump down here. Actually, just so I have it, we want a liquid pump in here. Um, so I'm going to put one there. We don't have a lot of water, but that's okay. We desperately need dupe labor. I think that's some of the issues we're running into now. I'm going to let this run. And I'm going to send this pipe down so they can reach it. We'll just follow this ladder. And then we need to kick it off and throw it into there. That's what we need to do. All right, so look at that setup, and we can actually have this. We'll, can we, can, we can reclaim this here because uh, right now this is kind of no man's land. No one can breathe in it. It's pretty terrible. Um, Kevin's building out that for us, which is great. OK, good. We have a egg in here. So this thing desperately needs power so they can actually hug it. So I'm going to say, hey, get these as an eight if you can. Um, let's set this up as seven. Because I want these built so that the, we can deconstruct all this and they can start working up here. And honestly, honestly, I might put a light in here um, just so it's a little bit better for them to work with. We could have these shine nymphs bugs, but eh, it, they cause radiation too, and they're you know they can kind of be a pain in the butt. Uh, we're not getting any bristle blossom growth on this one. That's fine. I'm eventually gonna get rid of all that so we can, you know, start farming. But because we desperately need to get the local for achievement, which. I reminds me, let's take a look. 
Locavore, how are we doing? Let's take a look at these lovely achievements that we're working towards. Locavore, so we are a quarter of the way there. All right, well, we're, we're working on it. Uh, for this one, we are nowhere near it. So yeah, super sustainable, kind of, kind of a bum. Uh, we have 80 cycles remaining and we have zero kilocalories. So that one's good. Yeah, we're the carnivore one is uh, it's going to be it's going to be one of those. It's going to be tight. All right. So how are we doing on? Can we make another? Yes, we can. All right. So we're getting our incubators set up really well. Um, these are where they're, they're going to go. So that way our ranchers can go in. This is a really close spot for them to work around. And if we can get this like a little sec, I want them to get like, let's set that as a six. Let's get some of this fire pole going. Uh, let's get all these parts done, at least, so you guys can move around a little bit easier. Do we have any more eggs? No. OK, so what? I, OK, I think the problem is that we had the move job and we don't have anyone sweeping up fast enough. You know, Hitch is, you know, we have Hitch doing it, but he's also operating at the same time. Um, so once he's done with that, we'll let him go for a little bit. We'll have four incubators, which should be fine for right now. Uh, but we'll eventually want to move away from that. Uh, once he's done, we'll have another for an incubator. and I think four is going to be good for the meantime. We're going to want to fill these out as much as possible, and I don't see any more hatches. We could definitely look around for some more, though. Um, I ideally want another nature reserve, and I think I'm going to make one down here. It's not going to hit our dupes as much. Ideally, I would make these hallways nature reserves, and we actually we might be able to do that. We can make this one if we close it off, maybe up here. Let's check out how many tiles we have here. So that is 99 tiles. That is 108 tiles. We won't be able to do this entire thing. And that's OK. If I can make this a nature reserve. We might be able to swing this. We need Let's see. This is going to how many tiles is this? This is about OK, we have a new dupe. That's fine. That's 40 tiles there. So mm, it's going to be close. We might be able to do this. There's four plants right there. We can close it off, but we don't want to hurt anything either. Hmm, I might be able to make that swing. But let's go and take a look at our new and see what we can grab. All right, blossom seeds. We're not worried about blossoms. Let's see if we have anyone that's going to be good here. Uh, construction, medication, and strength with hard digging. Hmm, not really. Machinery and medicine. Machinery could be good. Rock fan. Uh, meteor showers and cuisine. Piloting and cuisine. All right, so not exactly what we're looking for here, but uh, it could be okay. Binge eater. Okay, I know this sounds stupid, but binge eater can actually help us if we stress someone out purposefully and we need to make them eat a ton of barbecue down the line. We could do that. I know that sounds silly, but it can work. Strength could be good. Construction. I think this is going to be what we're going to uh, machinery operating would be good too. have a good operator for our machines. I might go for the strength, though. Decreased calories, bottomless stomach. Bottomless stomach is still not good, though. They'll eat more often. Food morale bonus. Let's do this one. Let's do this guy. I'm going to oh, meet. Welcome to the colony, meet. If you want to be named after duplicate, please let me know, and I will gladly do. He's a sparkle streaker. All right. Welcome, meet to the colony. We have 18,000 kilocalories. I think we can manage having a meet. Our oxygen generation is decent. Uh, we're, we're well, I say decent, but we need to go ahead and get this set up. Um, so what I'm going to do is I make priority six for these guys to build this out. Because this is important. Uh, we need to get the our carbon dioxide is honestly getting way ahead of us, and you guys won't be able to move around the base if that's the case. So we need to go ahead and take care of this. I'm going to go ahead and set this up with some wire. Let's pull this one across, go down and hook this up. So we need to make that a priority six as well. I know we got several priorities down through here, but I'm trying to make sure this is of importance. OK, so let's go ahead and speed up a little bit and see where our dupes get to. OK, one thing I forgot to do is I forgot to assign skills to our new dupe here. So let's take a look. OK, in, uh, improved operating. So they're going to be good at getting on the wheel, which will free up some of our other dupes. So let's go and do that. Let's go ahead and get you operating. And then let's take a look at our priorities here. So we want Meep to operate for sure. We want you to do that. Uh, so who do we want operating as much? Let's say Hitch. If Hitch has to, he will. But he's going to try to supply, store and tidy if he can. So that's going to be Hitch's uh, more uh, focus. So Meep will focus on operating. Let's make sure we get Meep his hat, too. Meep needs his hat. Let's do that. Or yeah, Meep, get your hat there. Improve tinkering. So Meep will also work on the generators now. Hitch will be able to kind of start cleaning up our base, uh, which will be very, very nice. So we can get some of that bonus. Daisy now has a new skill. She has her new researching. Um, but I think what I'm going to do 
So we're not going to go for, well, I guess we're plus two science, and that'll help. Yeah, I think we might do that, actually. Let's go ahead and get applied sciences. We can't use it, but that's fine. She'll be faster at researching for us. Okay, so furniture, we have a light. Let's go ahead and get this up here so that you guys have some, have some light when you're operating this. That'll operate at a better efficiency. And because that we have that there, let's go ahead and hook this up. I'll just hook that up to the light, go down and around. There we go. I'm like, wait, hey, why don't you just go straight up? Because, well, I think it should go off the battery and not that, so the light's not absorbing it before the battery is. Okay, so I need to send a bunch of actual toilets as well. Our toilets are not great. Um, this, actually, it's out of order, it requires emptying. It's public assigned. I need someone to do this if possible. Let's go ahead and send Meep to empty that out if you can. I don't know why we're not emptying that as soon as, long, as soon as we can. We also have some polluted oxygen going there from there. So we need to figure out a pit probably to put our polluted oxygen. Ooh, and someone used the bathroom, it looked like. I did not notice that. And it's in this clean water, too. Hmm. Okay, well, we're going to fix that problem, aren't we? Uh, we did dig out some of this hole here, so we are slowly getting a point to where we can actually deal with this. Um, so this is an impromptu water pit, unfortunately. But we'll eventually put a bottle emptier here, and we can deal with this. So I'm going to kind of expand this out a little bit more. We'll put some ladders so that you guys can work on digging that out and then yeah looks good all right so our fire pole is still going once again y'all just have a lot of jobs not a lot of way to get around the base it's a very long gated base unfortunately research is done thanks to danzy thank goodness so we have some basic automation now which means i'm gonna have to set up some wire here um so what i want to do is i want to put a motion sensor here so that when everyone is working we have automation there and then we say automation wire goes across there and that way, that only turns on when they are working, which is good. Okay, so I'm going to leave this here, and we'll see what things happen. Okay, so we actually have our new battery system set up here. So Meep and Hustle Buffalo are running on this. Uh, we can go ahead and get rid of this old system here, so I'm going to go ahead and deconstruct that. And save us some room here. Uh, we can see now that the eggs are incubating now. So once we get that automation aspect for us to hook these up to timers, we're going to hook those up like that. I'm going to go get this automation wire in there uh, right there. And we'll have some timers go there so that we can set these things up and time them properly. So once they're hugged, I think we'll re I'm trying to remember how I do this properly. I think uh, if you haven't seen his Oni play this before, but Echo... Uh, Echo Ridge, he... I, I kind of watched some of his playthrough of how he did this all achievement run. And while they're vastly different because he's doing an extra hard run, uh, you know, I'm just doing like a, hey, this is my second time going through auction not included, but this time I have some guided, uh, you know, and one, one person mentioned in the comments below is like, I, I kind of like the way you're playing or, you know, it's probably more enjoyable because you have something to focus on. You have these goals and the achievements are a great way to attain those goals as you play the game. So that's that's kind of the goal of the series is, you know, have those and complete them all. And carnivore is probably going to be our toughest one. So I'm going to at least try to do that one. Uh, I can see here where we had some issues with some bladder control, and I think because we didn't have enough dupes to handle that, we didn't have enough toilets available, so we're going to have to clean all this up. Thanks, guys. Appreciate that. I don't know who caused us to spill in our, um, in our water there, but really, really helpful. So we're going to go ahead and get this set up, and I think what I might do is I might set up an extra system for overflow on this, because I... No, we won't have any overflow here. I think we'll be okay. I think this is like a perfect one-to-one -one system. Once we get all that set up, we'll uh, get that done. Uh, we need to go ahead and put some tiles here because it seems like it got destroyed somehow. I'm not sure how, but we'll go ahead and clean that up and build that out. I do want to slow down time just a tad there and kind of take inventory because I want to ideally turn this area into a nature reserve if possible. It might be tough and we would have to end our fire pole. Excuse me. <clears throat> we have to put our fire pole away and make maybe a door there. If we have a door there, we can say, hey, that's a door. And then we have all of this as our nature reserve. Go all the way down. That's 105 tiles. That's pushing it, especially if we want to go over here. So we have to fill in some of those. And we have to consider that this is also here. So that's kind of kind of take up that. So, yeah, we'll have to figure out how we're going to build that out if we're going to choose to do that. But for right now, I think we're going to focus on other things uh, in the base at the moment. So we have this incubating. We have So we'll have new hatches come through. We have hatches going around here. We have some new eggs. I'm going to cancel move that until we can fix that out. Uh, but yeah, let's see. Cancel move that. There we go. Very good. So have one egg incubating at the moment. And hopefully our rancher gets to it. And uh, we'll, you know, I think I think we've already hugged this one. Is this one hugged? Do you have the hug buff? 
uh, incubated, and it's lullabied, yes, so okay, this one has been lullabied, so once it's been lullabied, we can turn that off, and uh, they'll get the, um, they'll move on to the next one, so on and so forth. So once you get those timer sensors, which Danzy's working on for us, you can see her, she's hard at work, and she's halfway through that, uh, we'll have that. Still having some sweep jobs to do, oh yeah, we really need to get this done. We're really, really, really need to get this done. Because our carbon dioxide, you can see it's starting to spill over here. Yeah, okay, we gotta work we gotta work on this now. This is this is a this is a higher priority than anything else in the base right now. So let's go ahead and get that done. Uh we have some more of this piping to do, so let's get that. And let's just get all of this done. Yeah, we need to get that done immediately because our carbon dioxide is spilling over and eventually people aren't gonna be able to breathe down here in these environments. Uh so I think what I'm gonna do too is I might move this rock crusher. And we want to try not to use it as much as we would. Uh, we probably want to get a rock crusher up here. So if we look at refinement, we can go ahead and put one of those down again. And we'll probably just have it here next to our our generators. We I don't think we're going to need a third wheel, but we'll make room for a third wheel just in case. If that's the case, I probably need to put... Uh, oh, yeah, we won't be able to have a light here either. Could put a shine bug down if I really wanted to. I don't think... Yeah, I think we'd have to get rid of this. Um, we do have plants here. I have kind of saved this spot. We could leave those there and make a... We don't have any pips to automatically do that, but if we cut this off, we can get rid of this bristle blossom and maybe put a door here and have a have like a block and cut that off and then maybe do that. That way we get... A, yeah, let's actually let's plan on doing that because we have those, so this is technically part of this. Granted, that is a lot... You know, let's just play with it and see what we can do here. So we're going to say tiles... We're going to actually tile there. We're going to uproot you. And then we'll put some tiles there. We'll build out. But, oh, man, yeah, we got a lot of stuff going on here. All right, so Hitch is building this. He's going to have to, hopefully, he's going to have to get back up here and get some breath uh, air because he is, he is desperately running out. But once we get this system, we'll pump some excess water into it, and then we'll turn it off. Uh, we won't need much. And once this is turned off, we won't have to worry about it. We'll just cut the wire. And that should infinitely go. We just need some sand, which we should have plenty of sand. Let's take a look at our resources here. Uh, sand. Yeah, we have 69 tons of sand. I think we'll be okay on that filtration medium for a little bit. So we're on cycle 22. I haven't done a lot of cycles in this video yet, but I do want to skip ahead when I can. Um, I know some of you guys like to enjoy when I explain things and why I'm doing things that I am. Uh, we still have this system up here. Our oxygen is... It's better. It's not great. And this is really the problem. It's pushing all this up. Um, and we're, you know, we're really needing to get some oxygen for us because we're running out. Not, not, it's not great, but we can mix, maybe get some of these pockets here. Uh, we really just need to handle this carbon dioxide and possibly get this. I'm probably gonna put this as a priority six. We have it as a priority five. Let's go ahead and get another oxygen generation generator going. It is taking up some of our um power but that's okay all right so Danzy has finished her automation research which is great uh we can now get some interior decor and stuff like that uh someone suggests that you don't do briars and i can't remember exactly why that is but i will do my best not to i th think use them um now what i want to focus on i think i want to get sanitation we need to get some proper bathroom set up and get some showers because that'll help morale bonuses as well house Buffalo now has a skill uh she has operating and i think i might put her on operating as well uh, actually, supplying might be not be that bad either. Also, Level actually likes to do a lot of stuff. Let's go and get some art operating them. And we'll get her her electrical engineering hat uh, so that she is happy doing that. We may need some more ranchers. We're definitely going to need some more ranchers down the line. And I want to get this all cleared out so we can... Ugh, yeah, we're not really bottling this, are we? Are we, are we auto-bottling? I don't think... I just don't think we have enough dupes to handle all these jobs. Oh, we are also not doing well on food. Um, TU also doesn't have a place to sit, so we probably should sell that up. We, yeah, we, we're gonna have to... Also, we need to turn this into a grand hall. Ooh. Yeah, we just have a mess hall right now. This is a not great location for this. We need to move this somewhere else, and I think I might move it here. Um, that way, kitchen, it's kind, it's kind of in the same way, but we need a bigger room for this. Uh, which means we're gonna have to kind of move a lot of this stuff around, fix these gases, but uh, we'll get there when we get there. Uh, I think we'll just deal with what we have here. Uh, we have mealwood, and I think we're going to uproot this bristle blossom. Um, we don't want it here, so let's go ahead and get that uprooted. And then for the sink of getting some buildings down for you guys to sit in. Granted, we could have another one. Ideally, I want this near the kitchen. Because mm, we're going to have a ranch here. We could make one here. 
That could, or one here. This this could be where. Yeah, actually, we could set this up as our hall. We would have to kind of fix all of this, but we can eventually set this up as hall. But uh, for right now, we'll have this as a temporary one. I always forget where these things are. I think it's yep, mess table. Uh, TU doesn't have one, and we have nine dupes, so that should do. No, that's eight. Uh, we need a light in here, too. So let's go ahead and get a light when people are sitting in here. So we'll have that. So we'll have one here and one here. And then when dupes are next to those with the automation, they will turn on and off. So let's go ahead and get some of these motion sensors going. I like using motion sensors. There may be a better way to handle this. If there is, you guys let me know. Probably the best way to have that there was, would be there. But I think as long as someone is sitting in these chairs, that one's not covered, but I think it should be fine. I hope. I hope it's fine. Um, let's go ahead and get the automation wire down, and then they will have a place to eat. And we need to get a flower pot, ideally, as well. I think for the Grand Hall, we need that. Let's take a look. So for the Great Hall, we need no industrial machinery, fancy decor item, and recreational building. Uh, so we need to have one of these... Oh, where is it? We need a water station, furniture. Yeah, we need a water cooler. We can put a water cooler... Here, technically, is it worth upgrading this more? I might go and upgrade this this one because it's in our way, but we ideally just we don't want to. Hmm, this oxygen generator is actually industrial machinery, I think. Is it? Don't think it is. I need to move this. May move it down here. Can I? Yeah, actually, that would kind of spread out our oxygen a little bit better. So let's go ahead and move this down. Uh, so I'll copy, put it here, and then we deconstruct this one. And then we will have our wire go down our main spine, just like that, and deconstruct this other wire here that we don't need. And reclaim some of our resources. Okay, so that's kind of the plan for that. Um, once again, we're, we're going to put another seat down here, and hopefully that'll cover whoever sits there. Uh, ideally, these lights should be like here and here, and the automation should be reversed. But actually, yeah, that's kind of wonky, isn't it? Let's, uh, let's fix this. I don't like that. Do that. Uh, not the automation wire with the light. Let's put that there. That light covers everyone. Perfect. Looks good. And then we want to copy the sensor. The sensor if I can. There we go. Motion sensor. All right. And put that guy there. So it's not going to hit everyone. That's okay. If it doesn't, it doesn't. Just a little bit of small morale boost. And honestly, I could probably get a button or something. I think you can put buttons down and that would count, but... I'm not really focused on that at the moment. All right, so let's go ahead and get our timer set up. So we want timer sensor here. We want one here, here, and here. And I want these as priority eight. I want these built as soon as possible. And then I want this as a priority eight so we get that done, because those are more important. Um, probably need to focus on another rancher when it gets time to. But right now, yeah, our oxygen generation is not good. We're also, our food is not doing good. We're almost out of mush fry, and we probably need to have some more cooks. Um, yeah, we need, okay. Priority six is on this. Um, if, yeah, Evan needs to be cooking if he can. We might need to, yeah, we might need another cook. I think that's not what we do, because we'll probably need another mush uh, builder. Yeah, because we're going to have to live off mush for a little bit, unfortunately. I'll set that as an 8 because I want that done. This is not a room anymore, is it? Yeah, that's not a room, so he lost his ability. And plus, we need to have lighting as well for when he's in here. So let's set up some more automation with the lights. So we'll have a dip, uh, motion sensor. And I'll probably have that there. That should count. And then let's get some lighting down. So power. Actually, that's under furniture. And then light. There we go. And just throw some automation wire down. All right, once again, we have just given our dupes just all kinds of jobs. Made a mess. Okay, so yeah, we keep making a mess, unfortunately, because we don't have enough bathrooms, it looks like. Or they just don't have enough time to go to the bathroom. Um, they're having to spend their time handle these bath uh, to handle these bathrooms. So we we really, honestly, we need to go ahead and set up these bathrooms when we get them done. Uh, there's just so many jobs to do. We're slowly cleaning up the base, slowly getting all this stuff built out, but... It is, uh, we definitely need more help, but the more help we get, the more food we need. So it's just, it's a fine balance that I'm not handling too well at the moment. All right, so you guys are storing that. Uh, once again, we need to get this carbon dioxide handled. Okay, so 
Oh, do I have this set up wrong? I bet I do, don't I? Okay, now our water's coming in, so let's go ahead and see if this is going to work. Speed up time. Okay. It's going to go in. Why? No power walk. Oh my goodness, am I a ding? I am a super dingus. All right, so let's get that fixed up. Uh, power spine. Let's go ahead and put this on our main power spine. We're going to need that done as soon as possible. So let's go ahead and get priorities. And I'm going to say that's nine. Our carbon dioxide is honestly causing a lot of issues. So let's put that as nine. I know it's going to cause a lot of the sweeping stuff jobs to be caught as nine as well, but there's not real much we can do about that. So if you guys start building that out, it looks like Evan is building that out. He should be cooking. He shouldn't be building. So let's take a look at our priorities here. Um, yeah, cooking. So it's because I don't have priority nine on here. I'm going to put priority nine on this and hopefully someone else will handle that. Um, I'm going to reset Evan real quick. Let's uh, move him and see if he reset to go cook. OK, good. So he's going to. Nope, he just can't breathe. Yeah, they can't breathe. So yeah, we need to get this done so Evan can cook. Oh, there's just messes everywhere. Oh, y'all made a mess in the main thing. OK, that's fine, I guess. Uh, can we mop that up? Is that, a, is that a thing we can do? OK, it is good. All right. Um, let's do party seven on those if we can. Oh, yeah, we need to handle our man. You guys just keep using the bathroom here. What is going on? And I get the toilets weren't available, but still. Ugh. Causing issues in our base. Come on, guys. We can do better than that. All right, so you guys are handling that. Yeah, carbon dioxide is just a massive issue right here. I'm going to go ahead and dig out a little bit of this so this water flows down. Probably mop that up. Once we get that done, we'll get a pitcher pump uh, down here. And honestly, we probably don't need it. I probably put it like right there. That way you guys can focus on that. I'm going to dig out that spot. Okay. All right, so we got the timer sensor up here, which is good. Well, no, we need the automation wire which we don't have that set up to be. I'm going to put that as an eight as well. So let's do that. There we go. OK, so you'll handle that. Uh, we now have this going for us, so we should be able to snip this. Uh, yeah, we should be good. All right, cool. So let's go ahead and snip this. We don't need this anymore. Um, so we'll snip that. And the water is kind of stuck in these pipes now, which is OK. We can have a plumber that can handle this and take care of it. Or we can send it elsewhere, which we might do eventually. Or we can just go and deconstruct them, which honestly, probably just going to do that. We can the water will spill. It's fine. I'm not too worried about it. Um, so we'll handle that. Take care of that because we're in our plumbing overlay up. And we'll have we'll have that uh, pipe there. You can see that's actually pumping in some polluted water, which is not great, but we might be we can probably empty the pipe and call it a day there. OK, so we are having our carbon dioxide hopefully being filtered out. Let's take a look at our gas. This is going to take some time, but I think we should be OK. We might need another one. If we need another one, then we'll we'll set it up. But I think this should be good for us for a little bit. I hope because it is it is working full time. I say how much how much does this actually consume? So if we look at this, it uh, industrial water combined so 300 grams per second. So you can see here, yeah, it's definitely being pulled in. OK, yeah, this thing is. Yeah, this thing's going to be working just fine for us. Yeah, we'll be good. OK, so oxygen is not great. We have one oxygen producer in the base. We need to focus on getting those built out. So let's go ahead and do it as seven. This one is a seven. And this is a seven. I know I'm putting priorities all over the board and I know I'm setting my dupes to uh, do way too much at once, but um, it's fine. OK, so timer, I'm going to set this up green duration. We're going to say. Probably six. I think six is going to be good. No, let's, hang on, let's do a little bit longer. Let's do a little bit shorter. So five. I want it somewhere. Mode seconds cycles. Here we go. Point one cycles. So like when they wink, like when Dark Souls wakes up. So let's take a look at what I schedule. I have them on real quick. So if we look at the schedule, Dark Souls on this is on this schedule, so he'll handle it. E -core, I may need a schedule for both of them where they get up and handle this. So for the first part of the cycle. Um, mode cycles. 
Let's see, I want this about, ooh, golly, that's kind of rough. All right, hang on, red duration. So we want most of the duration to be red. I think that would be good. I think that's where we kind of want it. And then once one res once we see one pass, we reset it. So I think that's what I want to do. So if we look at the timer, it should be off. Oh, it's not because we didn't set this up. Okay, well, let's hang on. Let's get this done because the automation wire actually isn't hooked up there. That's kind of bad. And I can reset it. And then once this one hits, I can reset this one. So what is this one on? This one is on 1.64. Let's just say 6.1. Let's just say 6. And then this one's like 1. 1. 1.5. Let's do that. Try that out. So this one's going to be 1.5. Actually, can I just copy settings? Uh, copy settings for this one and then paste and paste. All right, very good. So we can say when this one is off. Okay, that's cycles. So it's currently off. Okay. I think, no. Nope. Oh no, we're just out of power. That's why I wasn't on. Okay, so it's on. There's nothing incubating there. Once this one reaches here, we'll reset this one. Actually, this might not be what I want. Mode cycles. So this is OK, so I want, you know, just one cycle. So let's do one cycle and then I want this to be like the beginning of the cycle. That's what I want. OK, let's say for the first half of the day, point three, let's do that. Let's do that. OK, cool. Copy settings that that. All right, cool. Now we need to set hatchling eggs here, so let's, I'm just going to do this. Copy settings. Remember to do that. Uh, is there a button for copy settings? I don't want oxygen. I want this incubator here, if you don't mind. Boom, boom. All right, so now they should bring hatch eggs up here. Once again, you guys made an absolute mess. That's fine with me. All right, I'm going to go ahead. I think I'm going to work on setting a better bathroom here. This is awful so far, um, which Danzy did, I believe, finish our plumbing there. Yep, lavatory. All right, so let's go ahead and set this up. This is going to be an infinite loop, I believe. So we're going to have clean water go in, and but it's not like a one to one. Of course, the showers are not exactly a one to one either. But I'm going to set this up. And then I'll set I'll at least get these two going. And then let's make these are seven. So like this is something they'll focus on. And then these are top priority for our ranchers. These are nines. If you can do it, do it. OK, so these eggs are good. So if we look at the timer, we want to this one. OK, reset. That one's been lullabied. OK, great. These have not. So reset timer. OK, so that one's on. So ideally, when this one's done, I want to reset its timer too. ideally. So I'm going to keep an eye on this one. This one's going to be this is going to be a little wonky, but I need to keep an eye on these and reset these when possible. So I'm going to like when this one's done, I'm going to hit reset on this one. That way they're only taking up energy when yeah, I may even make it shorter. I don't know. We'll see. We just don't want them using power all the time. OK, we have one bathroom set. Oh, geez, this is just terrible, isn't it? Awful, just awful. We're going to deconstruct this one. We're going to get these bathrooms set up as soon as we can. I can't believe we actually have bad water in here. Yuck. You guys just can't control your bladder. All right, how's our carbon dioxide looking? Somehow worse. We might need two of these. Yeah. Somehow this has got. Is it really not able to? No, it's 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 slowly. There's not a lot of carbon dioxide, but it's slowly pulling all this in. Yeah, OK. It's just we our carbon dioxide is not falling anymore. Maybe because this water is pushing it up, that may be it. Like our carbon dioxide pit is not as good as it was. I'm going to research. Let's like research real quick. 
Oh man, for the next thing we need, we're probably gonna focus on getting our spawn set up. So I might need to look at getting the proper stuff for it. And I'm, that requires radiant pipes if we wanna cool down stuff. Uh, carried liquid allowing te extreme temperature exchange between the surrounding environment. So liquid tuning will probably be important for that. And that way we can get hydro sensors and all that. Um, is there anything else that's important that we need right now? We can get some decor, but I'm not really worried about decor at the moment. We're not worried about uh, we're not worried about pharmaceutics. Um, do we need anything for ranching? We don't need this yet. But gas range. I don't think we need a gas range. I think we just need to cook basic meat. Smart battery. That's what we need. All right, cool. Got to remember that. And then that way we can actually make this a power room up here. Are you guys cold because of the water here? Oh, you are. Oh, OK. Our party six if we can get that cleaned up. We need, yeah, we desperately need more dupes. We have 13,000 kilocalories, so Danzy is cooking. She shouldn't be cooking. Um, you reset your thing, Danzy. That you shouldn't be doing that. Okay. Yeah, I was hoping this is gonna clean out our system here, but it looks like it's kind of being, uh held back and it's because we have too much water in here I think yeah I think we have too much water in here maybe yeah we have too much water I don't think it's working at working at 100% efficiency yeah it's turning on and off yeah I think I put way too much water in there we could say empty out a pipe. I don't think I have anyone to do that yet. Let's see, empty pipe. Let's try empty that pipe. Let's see if that'll work. Because I think what's happening is we're the, the water is fine, but we have a pipe that is way too um way too full. So we're gonna try empty that out. Okay, we have two bathrooms complete here. Uh, we need to go ahead and get some of these new sinks down. So let's do that. Okay, it's a new cycle. Uh, we are working on the bathrooms, you guys. Uh, oh, we forgot to put a bed for our new dupe. Uh, oh no, we're gonna need a new bedroom too. Because uh, we're gonna want some more dupes, in all honesty. Uh, so let's go ahead and get some furniture down. Let's go ahead and get a cot, put a cot there. And I think I'm gonna make this up here, like a new bedroom for our dupes, because we have showers. This is gonna be like our bunk area, kind of going in and out of the uh, the base here. They'll have to go through here. Okay, I thought Hustle Buffalo was stuck there for a second, but she's not. I'm gonna put some new beds there just for the meantime. And when they get to it, you guys will build these out for us. With the tile go there, and then we'll build out a door here for you as well. One thing that's gonna be kind of difficult is I looked at our heat overlay and heat is okay. It's decent. It's, you know, it's spreading, unfortunately. Like we can see here, it's getting hot in this area. And that's because of the you no know, electronics that we have up here and also just it going through here. Uh, we have the abyssal light and it is protecting us slightly, but you can see here, even with the abyssal light there, we may need to put some tiles here. Unfortunately, this may be like our airlock to go in this area. I don't want to make it that soon, but with the way this is well, actually, you know, we could just build out insulated tiles here if we really wanted to. I don't know. The abyssal light should be holding off back for us. Maybe that's just too much heat got through this little area right here. That could be possibly what happened. I don't know, but you can see here that the heat's kind of getting through there. Uh, he is starting to flow from here. It's not that bad. It's not a huge, like, it's 30 degrees Celsius. It's not terrible, but it's not the greatest either. Uh, we're eventually going to get that, but this is our problem right here. We need to stifle this thing sooner rather than later, and uh, that's probably going to be a episode for, uh, probably a problem for next episode. It'll eventually stifle itself, in all honesty. Um, so we may not need to worry about it as much, but we definitely need to start working on cooling, and we need to get cool air in our base. So that's kind of where the spawn is going to come into, event, uh, into play eventually. It's not y'all's top priority at the moment, obviously, but and you can see our oxygen is bad. Uh, we oh, wow, it's really bad. OK. Um. Wow, this is actually a bigger problem than I thought it was. Hmm. Oh, and I didn't find attention to my timers either. Well, Stapes is doing well, isn't he? Hmm. OK, well, we'll have to fix that problem at some point. Um, so let's slow down time a little bit because we do have hatches here. Our hatches are doing well. We have some more incubators. 
Ooh. Yeah, we need to step another. We need to step another water sieve system here. Yep, 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 yep. Because our carbon dioxide is actually getting out of control. We could probably dig out a pocket if we really wanted to. Ugh. Probably dig out to this water. Oh man, part of me wants to sit here and wait because this is. We're slowly getting like we're getting rid of it relatively quickly. It's not like this is a I really OK, hey, let's empty out this pipe. Let's say priority on this pipe is ace. I want to see if this fixes our problem here. We also need a duplicate and printing pods, so let's let's check this out real quick. Piling construction. We have some shine nymphags. We have husbandry, which is going to be good. Athletics increased science. Um, we'll probably get this husbandry bubbles. She is a Ben Jeter, which is fine, too. Not right now. If she goes you know, stressed, you know, then we're probably screwed. But we need we did we need more ranchers, and that's something we're going to have to focus on. We're going to need ranching anyway, so I'm going to get this bubbles. Probably going to end the colony. We have 10 and we don't have the the food to handle it, but that's where we just need more cooks. So let's take a look at who wants to cook. So priority wise, cooking uh, Meep can cook if Meep can. If Meep's not operating, Meep can cook. Uh, and Kevin is digging. Mm, yeah, OK, that's fine. Duplicate skills. Uh, Evan, he's got his cooking. I'm going to say supplying is going to be something important because improved carrying is just important for everyone. Uh, Dirk Souls, critter ranching two. Uh, that'll improve his ranching skill, so we're gonna go and grab that. And I need to make sure I just don't like over morale them. Uh, we need to get her to ranching. Uh, she starts off with a skill, so hopefully her skills will go up and we can have that for her. But that's where we're at. Uh, we have no power hooked up to these because I'm smart and we'll hook these up. There we go. All right, cool. We also need to hook this up. Ah, doing so well. Oh, also, we're gonna dig this out, unfortunately. Uh, so we're just gonna go ahead and preemptively put these tiles here. Okay, cool. All right, well, we're running out of food. We're running out of oxygen. It's just a great time here in the call. Yeah, you can, why does, where is all the CO2 coming from? I don't understand. I really don't, but I do know that I need to put in another, where is it? Micro Micromusher, because that's what we're gonna be using for a little while, because it seems like our hunger is going to keep increasing because I keep getting more dupes. Um, put those in eight to build. Uh, I really need someone to actually do this if possible. Something just fell. What just fell? I don't know what just fell, but let's take a look at our rooms. Make sure our rooms are all intact. Looks like it. I don't know what I have this room here for. We eventually need to make a great hall. Oh. Is the colony going to survive? Well, with the way this carbon dioxide is going, probably not. No power, power wire connected. Oh, of course. Why would there be power wire connected to this? Oh, yeah. And our. Our. um, Looks like our power is overloaded, too, unfortunately. OK, let's take a look at these eggs up here. OK, so these are fine. Are they lullabied? This one is not lullabied, so I'm going to reset its timer. Okay, That one's getting lullabied. That's fine. So what I'm going to do is that one's going to be on. That one's fine, but we need to restart this one because it needs to be lullaby as well. That should provide a power. Should. This one should be off. I didn't set up the automation. I wasn't paying attention to it, unfortunately. Uh, is it off because I haven't set up a wire to it? I guarantee that's it. Yep, look at that. Line clockwork. All right, so let's go ahead and hook this up. Should, oop, there we go. And that little that one should be good. How I really I, this the carbon dioxide is kind of astonishing because there's not a lot here, but I don't think this thing is able to finish it off in time because I mean, look at our carbon dioxide. This one is. Oh, wait, what the heck? Oh, wow. Oh, we didn't. Oh, you poor souls. You we're letting out a bunch of chlorine. Fun. OK, yeah. Uh, OK, we're having gas problems. It's fine. It's OK. We have some polluted auction here and there. Uh, OK, we've set up our bathrooms here. Oh, uh, <laughs> I am focusing on way too much at once. All right, well, I'm going to try to fix these problems and I will uh, be back with you guys.
Okay, so I've been attempting to try to fix a lot of our problems and I haven't had much success yet. I'm trying to keep an eye on our CO2 and it seems like it's slowly going down. Um, you can see our CO2, CO2 levels here are kind of diminishing. Oh, granted, I did big, dig out a little bit of a pit here, so I don't know if it's because this thing's actually working properly or if it's because of the pit I built. We're going to see, but you can see this, some of this chlorine unfortunately came through and seeped through and yeah, we're going to have to try to do something with it. I'll have to pump that out at some point, but... Yeah, you guys have been making messes. I'm trying to get the, the this done. Yeah, you, you guys are you guys are stressing me out. You, you know, you gotta hold your bladders. I, I don't know what to tell you. Um, but so we're gonna sweep that up. Um, Danzy finished some more research, so we have the smart batteries now, and we have the power control station. So we'll probably put that into our power th um, facility so that we can store more power. The thing is, we're consuming much more power than we can handle. Uh, so we're probably need to actually get a more consistent source of power, which is our makeshift spawn at the moment. Um, but in the meantime, I think what I'm going to focus on getting Danzy to do for me is probably grab, oh, I don't know. Let's, let's go ahead and go towards uh, liquid tuning, uh, so that we can have those pipes. We are trying to build another, uh, incubator so that we can actually hug the eggs some more. Um, but we need the ore to do that. Um, Hustle Buffalo is delivering the ore. But yeah, we just have a lot of problems at the base right now. We don't have enough power. Uh, Meep is doing his best to try to power everything in the base, but it's just, it's not enough. Um, Hustle Buffalo is getting up there. You, the, the incubators don't have enough power. It's just not a good time for anyone, unfortunately. Uh, all the eggs are lullabied at the moment. And once this timer goes down, I'm probably going to reset another timer. Uh, probably... Oh, actually, I forgot to copy the settings on these. Uh, so yeah, this one's done. So let's reset the timer on this one. So that one's reset. That'll be on. Uh, these are more of just so I can make sure that these are on for a little bit and they can get their incubation done. And then people will come and do it. Hopefully everyone will be available. Uh, we also got a new achievement, which is good. At least we're making progress there. Uh, let's go ahead and copy the settings for these and spread them across. And like I said, once we get some more of the ore, we'll be able to move that down. Meep is cooking as much as he can. We're going to say mush bars here forever. Unfortunately, I think you just get, you guys are just going to eat mush bars. And it's just it's another issue of I have just. Oh, we also lost a millwood here. All right, well, we're just going to dig that up because unfortunately we lost a millwood. Um, unfortunately, that I just I haven't been able to provide you guys with a lot of uh, comfort here. Uh, we, we're slowly sweeping up this stuff here. Our ranches are coming along not as fast as I need to. We have three eggs available. Uh, these are, you know, this one's 95%, this one's 66 So we need to definitely get some more incubators, and I'm thinking I'm going to fill up this room and maybe even the room above it. I may move these beds and move them around. May have some beds here, have showers up here or something. I don't know. It is, it is definitely a project to plan, and I'm hoping our CO2 will now kind of diminish. We kind of gave, gave ourselves some leeway. Um... Our auction is waiting for algae delivery. It's just everyone has too many jobs. There's too many things to do. So, yeah, and our potential load is quite large, and we just don't have enough power to handle it. Uh, we just, we really need to get some of these extra wires here, which uh, we are researching them. The conductive wiring, Danzy is getting that. Uh, actually, no, we're not researching them. I lied. We're researching the... Uh, this plum, this plumbing here, which we do need that, but I think I might go for the wires actually to handle the load. Uh, where are they? Uh, wires, wires, wires. I don't know where the wires are. I could probably type that in. Uh, do research. There it is. Okay, so yeah, we this low resistance conductors, so we can get the conductive wiring. Um, that might be more beneficial. Maybe. Instead of the cheap wires, let's go towards that because we're still working on building our spawn. I really need to, I really need to build this more uh, sooner rather than later. We really, honestly, probably need another gerbil wheel. I hate to say it, but Hostel and um, Meep are the only ones handling this at the moment, and it's uh, not able to power the base efficiently. If we look at our power, okay, it's okay, it's not bad. Um, but we honestly really probably need to get our spawn up and working. Uh, it's probably about time for this to go ahead and get fixed. As much as I really hate to try and do this, but we have some hydrogen here that we can use. It's not a lot of hydrogen, but we can start producing some and get these guys going and power hopefully some things. And we can get the, you know, smart battery. We can have this kind of be our other power plant area. And honestly, what I need to do is I probably need to go ahead and insulate this area because our little buddies down here are going to get hot. So I think I might go ahead and put some insulated tiles for them. 
Also, I just realized this isn't a ranch because we haven't built this out. Oh, jeez, there's just so many issues. Okay, well, at least get, for me, get these done. That would be nice if we actually have a ranch in here because these guys are not in a, yeah, they're glum because they're, I don't think they exist in a ranch. Yeah, they don't exist in a ranch, which is awesome. Check out our achievement, shall we? So we gained red light, green light. So automation, very good. Let's see how our local war is going because we need some. Okay, well, we're, we're getting there. We're almost halfway through local war. Oh, so much to do, so little time. How's our heat? This is spilling over, but it's like, like I said, it's not as bad as it seems. Uh, we have extra, you know, we have ways for you guys to go through the base. It's just. We just have so much to do. There's so much to get done. At least you guys can kind of breathe here. We have two people that are sick. I think we have two people with yucky, uh, hypothermia, which is fine because there's spillage everywhere. So I'm going to go ahead and maybe like, hey, six on the spillage if you don't mind. And yeah, OK, we have six on that. So y'all just have tons to do. Oh, man. OK, what else is there to do? We don't have those hooked up yet. That's fine. That's not hooked up. Our eggs are currently in. Incubating. Okay, this is these need to be lullabied. So I'm gonna restart this timer here. And this one also needs to be lullabied, so I'm gonna restart its timer. And that should fix it to where it's on an automatic cycle. These two are running at the same time, unfortunately, but I think that'll be okay. Meep and Hostel are kinda handling that. It's it's really we're losing some dupe labor to having to run on the batteries. And really when it comes down to I probably need to go ahead and have a power station. So we'll probably want to like at least go ahead and close this off. So, you know, we say, hey, tile here and then say, hey, pneumatic door there. And maybe some of our issue is that we don't have enough airflow. I mean, we our flow can be pretty terrible. We'll probably need to airflow down here so air can fall down because um, right now it just has to flow through the 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 tiles on the base. So maybe a part of my issue is airflow. So maybe, you know, airflow tiles here, 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 here. I don't know. Let me know what you think, because um, right now, I mean, it's not bad. It's coming down, but we really need this even further. And I think it may be because we need one of these. Ooh, actually. And I don't know why, but it's not running as much as it should, I feel like. It almost feels like this thing doesn't have enough carbon dioxide to go around, and the carbon dioxide is not falling fast enough. And I don't know if there's something heavier, or I, I don't know. I, I feel like, because it takes in a lot of carbon dioxide, and maybe it's just there's not enough, or maybe the... Uh, Oh, maybe we're not producing enough oxygen to push it down. That could definitely be it. And like, let's say, okay, hey, these are like, if you can supply our oxygen generators, do it. I think I'm going to do that because I think what's happening is their oxygen is not, you know, producing enough. So it's not pushing our carbon dioxide down because these are supposed to take up more tiles than they are. So like, I mean, you can see here, like we don't, there's not a lot of carbon dioxide in these tiles. So maybe the problem is, is that it's not getting pushed down enough. And this, it just is not able to intake a ton of carbon dioxide. So ideally we're okay, it's just our auction's not being produced enough to push all this down. So now that we have these produced, they're gonna be running. And once again, you know, we're just out of power. That's, oh, look at the baby hatch. We have our first baby hatch. Look at that guy. Oh, look at him, adorable. Our first little hatch. Very good, all right, cool. So we have our first baby hatch. Uh, hopefully you guys will pick that up and drop that off. Um, I think some wood should handle that. I'm hoping Dirk Souls is coming up. Let's say take him out. OK, yep, wrangle him up. Very good. OK, and then we have more incubators here. So this incubator is about to reset, which is fine. This one is good incubated. So uh, lullaby. This one's about to finish so we can hit the restart on this one. So we can set reset timer. So that one's on. So someone will come and incubate that. Uh, once this one's done, then we can hit reset on that one. I hope at least let's actually go ahead and hit reset on this one and then we'll hit that. It's just prop power once again is our problem. So we probably need to go and get this done. I'm going to set these as priority so we can produce more oxygen with this. This isn't a long term solution by any means. I'm definitely going to have it somewhere up here. We'll have to cut out some of this light, but that's going to be our long term solution there. Oh, so much to do. So little time. But guys, that is going to wrap it up for this episode. We have finally got our first hatches hatched and we are filling out these base uh these little uh, homes for our buddy uh, little buddies here we're in cycle 26 and we have we have you know three critters a uh, seven critters we have a total of 10 hatches i feel like we're okay but we're gonna need to start producing a lot of meat so let's hope these uh these hatches uh start going relatively quickly 
and uh, we can get some more incubators down of, of that fun sword. So, oh, man, that, that was a long episode, but I hope you guys enjoyed it. As always, I know there's a lot to do. Hopefully we can start cleaning up and then have more of our duplicates able to do things. Calories are getting back up, which is good. Got to clean up a lot of this stuff, so that's going to be it. Hope you guys have a great rest of your day, Remember, be As always, thank you for spending some of your time here. I always do appreciate it when you do. And uh, yeah, that's going to be it. Hope you guys have a... Uh, once again, I'm going to compete, completely have deja vu of myself, but that's it. Hope you guys have a good one. See ya.